Hi, hope you all are having a good day. So I have been working on some open source tools lately. First with Logsfolio, our open source portfolio template. And now with Retro UI, a React based UI library. One of the best part about open source is it not only helps me to build a community, but it helps you as well, right? Whether for getting free codes or learning or potentially contributing to the project and building your credibility as a developer. And that's what I will be sharing in this video, how you can contribute to open source project. For the purpose of the video, I'll be using Retro UI as an example, but the fundamental works for any other open source projects out there. All right. So before we go into the practical example, let's try to understand how the whole thing works with this diagram <laughs> that I made. Let's say this is the main Retro UI repository where I am the maintainer. And if you want to contribute to the project, the first thing you should do is create a fork of the source repository. And that will basically create a copy of the project into your own GitHub account. And then on step two, you can pull the code into your own local machine where you can do the changes. Let's say you added some features. And after you are done, you push the code into your own repository. And now your repository have the updated code, right? Because you pushed a new feature. To push that into the main repository, you create a PR request or pull request, which the maintainer can review. He can either approve or reject. In a typical scenario, he might ask you to do some changes and you can do the changes and uh, request for approval again. Now, let's say everything goes fine. The maintainer approves your code. So now your code will be merged to the source repository. And now you can just sync your repository with the main repository, which will basically pull in all the new changes. Don't worry if you don't understand the terms like sync, PR request and all that. We're gonna see those in details when we see the practical guide. But on a high level, that's pretty much it. That's how you can contribute to other open source projects. Hopefully now you have a decent idea how the whole process works. Now let's see a practical example. So I will try to replicate both the contributor and the maintainer side of the project. So you get the whole picture. But I will be using two different browsers like Chrome for the contributor side and Arc for the maintainer side. So you don't get confused. Now, if you remember, the first step is to create a fork, right? So let's create one. We'll name this Retro UI copy. Create fork. It might take some time. Okay, done. And now we can clone this into our local machine. Git clone. Retro UI copy. Let's cd into this, retro copy, open this in VS Code. So the first thing you should do is read the readme file where a lot of time maintainers will add valuable information. Uh, so it looks like everything is fine here, but you can see the contribution guide on the contributing.ebni. So let's open this up. Now here contributors will have probably a guide that can help you to get started. Like on step one, fork the repository, clone the fork repository. We already did this, right? Almost all major open source projects out there will probably have a contribution guide. So look out for that contributing.md file. All right, cool. So let's just install all the dependencies. PNPM I. Done. Let's run this. Great, so looks like everything's working so far. Now let's talk about contribution, like what changes you wanna make to the project, right? For my case, I know what I want to do, which is basically add an example of a secondary button, uh, probably around here after the default one. But in your case, you probably want to do some other changes like adding a new component, maybe fixing any bugs or typos here and there, right? One thing you can do is like keep an eye on the issues tab here. A lot of times people will post issues uh, that needs to be fixed. Right now we don't have any issues. Uh, there were two uh, which already closed. So 
a lot of times you will have a lot of issues here uh, that you can contribute to but anyways uh, let's go back to our page to add an outline button here you can go to the code base and you can see i already have a variant that has default and outline right so i don't need to make any change to the code ui or the component right so all i need to do is like create an example on the docs let's go to the contribution guide so to learn how we can do that here create a preview and showcase in the preview folder and here the example is given and we'll just add this into components repository and then we can just showcase it in our docs so let's do that first go to previews and here let's create a component button style outline .tsx. we already have a default button so we'll just copy this paste this here and on the variant we'll just name this outline let's also rename this to outline so we did the third step let's do the next one which is to add this in the config so let's go to components and here you can see there's a button default so we'll create another one this will just say outline copy this and this so we finish the fourth step and now the last and fifth step which is to add this in the docs right for that you can go to the components and markdown file for us it will be button button.mdx here you can see we are showcasing the button style default so let's just create another showcase component and this is markdown and we'll name this outline which is the same name we given here right save this now you can see our outline button but we should have a heading right so let's create another h3 we'll name this outline and to have some space we can use break save and now you can see it looks nice and i can see the preview and i can also see the code great so now that i have our changes let's just commit this git status we only modified these files so let's commit this added button outline example oh, we have to add the changes right so let's add those and now commit let's push this so now our changes are pushed to our copy repository or forked repository uh, if you go to github you can see one commit ahead of the main source right if you go to the commits you can see it has our latest uh, commit and if you see the diagram we are currently at step 3 where we have the updated code right so to reflect this in the main repo we have to create a pull request so let's do that go to code here you'll see contribute open pull request now on the right side you will see the source which is coming from our copy and the branch which is the main branch and on the left side you can see the source next you can give a title to reflect your changes in a meaningful way and give a proper description what you did so for example in our case we added an outline button right so let's take a screenshot uh, this let's 
we'll add this here and we can say new outline button example you can see the preview if everything looks good let's create the pull request so now your part is kind of done you just have to wait for the maintainers to see this and make his comments or approve this so let's switch to the maintainer mode now here i am the maintainer right so i can go to pull requests i can see someone added something i can see the title description everything looks fine go to file changes i can see what changes were done if everything looks fine you can go down and merge the pull request or if not i can say hey please fix this right but in this case everything looks fine so i will just directly merge this merge and you can see your pr is merged and now let's switch to chrome where i am the contributor you can see now this branch is behind because this one only have a merge right so you can just click on sync repo which will sync your repository with the source repository and now you can see both is on sync i can go to commits you can see the commit we made added outline button and the merge so everything looks fine so we can go to our local machine and just pull in the changes see the log you can see it has all our latest changes so yeah that was it hope you guys learned something uh like the video if you did uh, subscribe if you like my stuff and yeah i'll see you guys next time bye bye